that he's had some other influence, like from Europe or something like that. He was training, yeah. and, and what's happened is the younger artist, what happens is like what happened when he went to STTI for his for the thing, and, and they, all and of a sudden Jinling. he gets criticized because he's doing his kampong art. <laughs> He's not supposed to do that. He has to do abstract. So, of course, as soon as you start doing that, then the younger generation think, oh, that's old fashioned. That's no good. So then you get this whole group of people who ignore completely anything that's, that's a local influence. And they're all doing, which is okay, it's a movement in art. But then you lose all those people. Get him to give a speech. No, you lose all those people who who really are documenting things from their village or from from the history. Because once these older people are gone, the younger people are not going to be. Plus, this history is gone anyway. There are no more people building mosques like that. You're not going to find anyone in the country building an old-fashioned mosque. They're all going to bring, oh yeah, well we have to get this, the, it has to look like it's from Turkey, it has to look, it has nothing to do with anything that's in Malaysia. Even see when they built a national mosque, okay? It has nothing that looks like it's from Malaysia, even though it was built during independence. J J K R. JKR. JKR. Architects who have come back from overseas and they're all woo, and so you lose that that, and then now the newer ones they're bringing in arch old architecture, but it's from Turkey, it's from Saudi Arabia. Nothing that incorporates what was here already. So if you go through back through and see all those old mosques. What are the things that could be incorporated to build something? that's new but yet incorporates the old.